Greetings everyone, this is a repaste guide for the Asus Strix G15 featuring the 10870H and 115W2060. First remove 10 Phillips head screws and the 11th in the top left hand corner will stay attached to the bottom panel. Carefully flip the bottom panel over in this direction and please be careful not to pull on the RGB ribbon cables as they are quite short. Unplug the battery by sliding the metal clip away from the plug, then pry the plug straight up off of the motherboard. Remove the eight Phillips head screws that secure the cooler to the motherboard. One of these has a tamper evident sticker. The fan to our left does not need to be removed for this operation. I did not realize this till a bit later. The right fan is held in place with three screws and the fan cable. It's lightly attached to the cooler with tape. Carefully pry up with a plastic pry tool in these locations. Don't hulk it out. To my surprise, there's factory applied liquid metal on the CPU. Between this and the factory Smurf goop, I'm in for a bit more work, but I'm prepared. Removing liquid metal just takes a bit more time. After some cotton swabs, paper towels, and isopropyl alcohol, the CPU and GPU dye are clean. Do the same for the cooler as well. As far as the blue Smurf goop, you do not need to completely remove this, but carefully scrape most of it off. I'll replace this with K5 Pro all over the components previously covered. The right amount is applied based on experience. There is no way to measure the precise amount. You just know it when you see it. I'll use Thermal Grizzly Conducto Knot Liquid Metal for the CPU reapplication of liquid metal and Phobia Nanogrease for the GPU for no other reason than it's a great product and I have plenty. The nickel plated CPU section of the cooler will get a thin layer of liquid metal and the CPU die itself will get a gentle massaging of liquid metal till I'm satisfied with the amount. Don't let it pool up, but you don't want any bald spots either. Trust me, I'm bald. Asus is using a small foam barrier and custom protective tape over the surrounding CPU die to limit contact with liquid metal. I'll be sure to not compromise their standards and move on. I'm satisfied with this, so it's time to secure the cooler to the motherboard. Reinstall the fan screws and plug in the fan cable. Next, reinstall the eight cooler screws, plug in the battery, snap the bottom panel into place, and fasten the single screw in the top left-hand corner. Now let's flip the Strix over, power it on before reinstalling the remaining bottom panel screws to make sure we didn't forget a step along the way. Power it on, give it about 30 or 40 seconds to boot into the operating system. No need to soil your britches, it should power back on. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Let's see if this improved thermals using the manual profile and maximum fan speed. Here's the stock versus today's repaste. Yep, it's pretty close to the same. Stock thermals on the left had the GPU thermal throttle at 86 degrees Celsius, and the wattage begins to lower below the 115 watt as a result. The repasted solution had the GPU hit 85 degrees Celsius, but it's just too close to really matter in the long run. Both tests have the CPU into the mid and upper 80s. Okay, it's time to do some more work then. Asus allows a CPU undervolt in their BIOS of a maximum 80 millivolt. Those results allowed the CPU to pull about 4 watts less on higher gaming load. This dropped temperatures on the CPU by about 4 degrees Celsius and also resulted in a small decrease of 2 degrees Celsius on the graphics card. One part always affects the other on a shared cooling solution. With that said, taking this a step further, we'll break out my GPU undervolting guide and go for an easy limit on the GPU of 0.8 volts at 1700 MHz. This dropped the GPU wattage from 115 watts to just under 95 watts and gave us nearly identical frame rate performance with a 10 degree Celsius drop on both CPU and GPU. Take this how you need to when servicing your laptop. Links for the GPU undervolting guide are linked here and in the description below. Thanks for watching.